little bit of a sad day today after I fought so hard to save it and keep it. Decisions been made. Gotta go. <laughs> No, not the calf, the tree. Morning world. Welcome to Monday, 15th of April. It was me, <laughs> 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 It's a bit windy. It's a bit too windy, really. <laughs> yeah. Or even come in the other side and go the other way. Yeah. Whichever, you could literally back up on, come down forwards, back up on there. And then you've got the wind behind you then. While we're on about losing things, there is something else there that I definitely don't want to lose. Well, we've already lost one. So calf number 13 went down like a sack of, what do you call it, over the weekend and sadly passed yeah. yesterday. This little chap here has been poorly, as you know, for over a week, and he's still not, he's still not very lively, are you? Eh? Right, I've just sent some pictures off to the vets through the WhatsApp group, and they're gonna call me back, but basically I've requested a visit this afternoon. This has been going on for a week now, and nothing I've done has made it better. In fact, it seems to be gradually getting worse. If this is a bug, an infection, I need to nip this in the bud before it gets through the entire barn and kills off all my calves. So, yeah. The thing is, it's not like a normal scour. That would normally be, he was, he was scouring yellow. It's now gone back to a nearer uh, bright color, but it's just very, very loose. So, is it coxy? There's no blood in it that I can see. What is it? Actually, what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna put him in there and then I'm gonna give him a bit of hay, dry grub, because I think he's hungry. I was not that hungry though. I put that under his nose. So, I think another dose of electrolytes, because I do not want him to get dehydrated. He is quite poorly, ain't he, little chap? Yeah. Okay, that's that sorted. Vet's gonna be out sometime this afternoon. I think it's Kit's coming to see us, so I haven't seen him for a while. Um, so basically, it's a case of don't give him any more drugs. Electrolytes is fine, which isn't going to do anything because that's just fluids and a bit of energy. Um, yeah, but like I said, I need, if there's a bug going through the barn, I need to know what it is. Um, so we're probably going to have to catch a couple of our other small cows, some of them are a bit squitty, and get some samples off of them so that um, they can go away and test that and try and work out what the problem is. Got this down to a fine art now. Do you know what, to get revenge for what I do, do you mean? Yeah, this is a fine art now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, I know. You looking? See his eyes looking a bit sunken in. That's classic dehydration. So we will get you better. All right. We will do everything we can to make you feel better. Anyway, that's the downside of farming, or one of the downsides of farming. What are the upsides, though? 
is over my shoulder. Hello, Mary. Have you kicked that everywhere? Have you? Hey? Have you kicked that everywhere? I just put you some hay in there and you've chucked it all over the place. Can you? Yeah. But, can you? Look at your beautiful baby. Oh, yeah. I say, you stand right in the way so no one can see. Okay. What can you smell? Hey? Right, so I've come down here to look at that calf with the intention of cleaning this barn out, giving him a clean bed. But because the vet's come in, I've decided not to clean it out. I've decided to leave all the evidence, because there may be some evidence on the floor in here that if I clean it out, I'm going to get rid of. So although it is mucky, he might want to look at things like that bit of calf poo there or uh, maybe that bit of calf poo there or that there. If we've got something in the, in the herd and he's poorly, it's quite likely that somebody else out here has got it. So I think later on when he comes, we're gonna be looking at the rest of the calves. There's a couple of them that are a bit loose. We're gonna see if we can get a sample from one of the calves that has had nothing, as in, He's had um, antibiotics and he's had stomach tubes and he's had injections to this and injections to that and he's still poorly. There's not much point in testing him. We know he's ill. What we need is a fresh, clean sample from something that's had no medicines at all and maybe that will give us a clue as to what's going on in here. So, I think it's a bug. I think it was a bug that was bought on by my error of giving them some silage and a couple of the calves chuffed into the silage and that's started it off. So it's my fault, um, but yeah. How do we cure it? I mean, the best cure is gonna be letting them out there. But even then, they're on dry grub now, so they're on hay. The second I let them out on that grass, they're gonna crap everywhere. Goosey Lucy, as in loose as a goose. So, right, so um, I'm gonna go on and clean those guys out, do them, but I'm not gonna clean this out. I'm gonna wait till Kit, or whichever vet it is, has been. And like I said, there, there might be some evidence in here that he could take a sample from, um, that if I clean it out, he wouldn't have that opportunity. Does that make sense? So I, I prefer to have the barn nice and clean when the vet comes because it shows that, you know, it's got a keeper. But, yeah, I think this is one of those cases where we're better having a dirty shed when the vet comes. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me. So, all right, you can come back in. So you can fall off. Go on. Okay, they can come back in. They got a nice clean loiter area now. Nice clean bed. I will do the same over there later on, once the vet's been. But like I said, we'll keep it like it is for the time being. Um, if we're trying to take a sample off of clean straw, a lot harder than off of a packed floor. So yeah, although it goes kind of against the grain a little bit, leaving it dirty while the vet's come in, I think it's actually better for the cat. Back up, as I've got a better chance of finding out what on earth is going on. So you have to come out of there. Out. Thank you. Ooh, it is. <laughs> right. 
I've done it again. I've got a calf. One of our calves. I don't know which one it is. We've never had this problem before. One of our calves just loves the bolt on the little gate. That bolt. And he will keep chewing it. And then he pulls the gate out. Now the gate, I've never had a problem. I might have to see if I can stick a big magnet or something on the wall over there. So if you know where I can get a big flat magnet from, I'll go on eBay in a minute or Amazon, and I'll get some of that black sticky stuff that Dave, I got, it's got to be something that can't come off. I don't want him to be able to lick it off the wall and swallow it. But if I could put a big magnet on the wall there, I could stick the gate to. I don't want anything that sticks out from the wall because we quite often, well, you've seen it, we run cattle from that shed into this shed up through here. And I don't want anything that's going to catch them. No hinges, no, nothing sticking at the I don't want anything that's going to grab a horn or an ear or an ear tag or anything like that. So, yeah, just a big magnet, big flat magnet. I can stick on that wall, hold that gate back and stop. It's not you. It's a little black one. A little, trouble, a little troublemaker, one of them. Literally, he catches hold of the handle of that thing, gets his bath, chews it, and then pulls the gate out, and then somebody gets behind it, shut the gate. Two mornings in the last 10 days, I've come out and found, gate's not latched. I mean, anything in this side could push it open. They ain't clever enough for that. They'll all stand out there, mooing, because they can't get in. So, uh, right, okay. So it is now on dinner time. Those guys are done. At least when the vet comes, he can see that we do try and keep some of it tidy. Although I expect by the time he gets here, they'll have crapped all over that and made it shitty again. I'm so looking forward to this lot going out. So I did put a little idea up on uh, Sunday's Live about maybe trying to raise a few funds for something. I don't know whether I'll do it for um, a charity or maybe we've done a charity. We've got two charities. Maybe, maybe we'll do this one for the farm. Try and raise a few quid towards barn roofs and concrete and stuff like that. The idea being, and tell me if you like this or not, uh, we're going to be letting the cattle out soon. And as you know, it's quite often a rodeo. I know Tom Pemberton quite often has a load of folks up viewing his cattle going having a skip about. Well, we could do the same here. We could do the same here. And how, how can I raise money from it? I'll tell you how. The idea being is visitors will come in, buy a raffle ticket, or as many raffle tickets as they want, paying the ticket. And then when we've sold all the tickets, or if we sell any tickets, we'll put them all in the hat, we'll pull out a lucky winner, and the winner, this might sound corny, the winner opens the gate. Okay, whoever wins the um, competition opens the gate, lets them go. All right, it's not a great prize. Some people say, well, not, yeah. But you know what? How many of you out there have ever opened a gate to let cattle out for the spring? Not many. How many of you done it on video? <laughs> Even less. So, because oh yeah, you would get your face on here. So, so if you're doing that, you'd have to be a case of yes, I'm willing to be filmed to do it, but. 50 odd, 60 cattle, feeding calves, running around out there, like a huge murmuration with their tails in the air, shouting and bawling and bellowing. It is something to behold. It is. So what do you reckon? Would you put a pound in your pocket, in the pocket, which I haven't decided yet, it'll either go to the farm or it'll go to a charity. I'm thinking at the moment, most likely going to the farm. Um, we've got to raise it where we can. Who wants to let the cat out? That was good timing. Literally just finished my dinner. And the vet's rung say Inez is on her way. So um, Inez is who I spoke to day before yesterday with reference to these calves and helped me well, try, try to diagnose what the issue was, which we thought was a change of diet. Because I put a bale of silage in. Um, and we thought the calves had maybe stuffed themselves with silage and it had messed up with their gut bacteria, which is what kicked this off. Uh, I still think that has got something to do with it, but uh, it's 
why we put them straight back on hay again. But yeah, we will wait for her. She will come and do some samples and look at the stock and we'll see if we can work out what on earth is going on. The guys, well, some of them are hedge trimming, having a tidy up, and some of them are up doing that ash tree. We aborted the job a bit earlier because the wind changed direction. It was blowing everything back towards the house. And it's still a little bit that way. But I said, well, we'll carry on as best we can for the time being. We will go back up there later on and show you what we're, what's going on. But um, yeah, hopefully, well, we'll see. If it gets any windier, we'll have to just stop and come back to the job. So, and I just missed that branch coming down. Oh well, never mind. Tree is not as important as the cars for a minute, so these are my priority. Uh, well, he's, he did yesterday, and he tried earlier, but he never made it. But maybe with a bit of assistance, he will. Come on, Come on. Come on. I got the, I got the light. I got the back. Come on. Come on, chunks. Oh, you're okay. Oh, there you are. No? No. no. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to fight us. No. He doesn't want to fight this. It's okay. Right, so how's that lot doing? They're... Is they dried up anything? No, uh, they're just exactly the same. But we don't know if that's because of the, the feed, because obviously now. we made it in June. Yeah. It's possibly just... I mean, they're all right. It's yeah. Like they look Nothing's poorly in there. Poorly, yeah, or, or if the coat looks stale. It no. It look all right, don't it? So... That's the only thing I can think of is just we made the hay and the soilage really early, May and June. So. <laughs> right, so Nez has gone. She's taken a, a poo sample. Not from that calf, because he didn't have any poo left in him. And the bit that he expressed out wasn't enough. Um, so he found some more poo, and she's taken samples of that to take away. The consensus now is, probably is coxy. Um, fortunately, as she said, I don't actually know how much of the visit I managed to record, because I put the camera up and pressed record and I thought it was recording, and the next minute the camera turned itself off. So I don't know, I don't know how much we've got. So anyway, so we're gonna finish giving these guys your bail because you're destroying this, aren't you? Slowly. So we'll, come, we'll finish that job off and then, uh, yeah, so Kay's back in with calf now. We've put mum back in with her baby, giving her some water and a bit of hay. Um, calf isn't keen to get up. Apparently the drench I was giving the calf, although okay, he's kind of a bit old for it and the uh, tube will probably give him a sore throat, which is, you know, fair enough. But it was all I could do at the time, all I could think of at the time. So, so no more electrolytes. We've now got to try and get some milk into him, but the drug she's given for coccidiosis, she said she doesn't normally carry, but because they've had so much of it this year, she now is carrying it. So because they service farmers right over in Wales, miles away from base, it's too far away to come back and get it if you haven't got it. So, so she said, luckily I carry it. Um, but if it is confirmed, Coxie, then we're going to have to treat all the calves. So uh, anything over three weeks old, I think, we'll have to have an oral dose of whatever it's called. I can't remember. She did tell me it's gone out of my head. So. Right. You've pushed that barrier forward again, haven't you? You buggers. On your heads. Find your heads. Go on, get your head in. Thank you. We'll give him a couple of hours, let the medicine get into his gut, and then we're going to see if we can stand him up and give him a feed. Um, failing that, I'm going to pop up and see my uh, friends, the Joneses at Corner Farm, because they milk cows, heifers and that. Um, and they don't throw the milk away, it goes to pigs or something, so I could probably get a bit of milk I could put in a bottle and give to him, because I think, I think he's hungry. Right, I just had a chat with 
the neighbour, Mr Jones. Um, he milked a couple of cows this morning, so he's got some whole cow, cow milk that are not pasteurised like fresh stuff. I've just cleaned out this with boiling water. I really burnt myself doing it. So we're going to go up there in a minute, put a couple of litres in there, come back down and, well, warm it up if it is warmer. Go and give it to the little fella. That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? They dropped it before I was ready. Well, that's half of it on the floor anyway. Just about fit on my fire. Only just. <laughs> you pull it or do you go by yourself? Uh, I'll just put it by itself. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to put a rope on that one, obviously. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're disturbing the neighbour. <laughs> Turn them in trouble. Yeah. Turn them in trouble. Yeah. Well, I had to go down. She said she wanted it down. It's dead. I feel it's feeling right. Yeah. All right. I didn't realise they uh, fell when it broke up. Yeah. No, they pulled the fence up. Yeah, I said pull it up and it can fall over then, that's all right. So just got to put a rope up that one and pull in with the tractor. All right, I've got to go. I've been summoned. <laughs> Thank you. Well all right. Got your thing. I'll be tit. There you go. <laughs> Still not warm enough. More warmth. I don't want to get too cold. While we're letting that warm up a bit, let's go and see how the guys are getting on. I think the tree's all down now. I think they've cut most of it up. It's just uh, hurry up then. Yeah, tidy up job now. I think I preferred it with the tree there. And I've just caught my daughter in the act of taking out ice creams. See what you're up to. <laughs> Do you see that? That was favouritism, that was. <laughs> There was one Snickers ice cream, one expensive one. That means you two get the cheap ones. Come on, poor. Turns out those berries that I saw were from the uh, ivy. The ivy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing like corn beam at all, really. No. Right. Huh. Okay. Well, I have to put a, no point in putting that back in. I have to put some new posts back in there. That's what me and Mark said, we'll just leave them out, we'll get some new ones. And yeah, well, there's some, there's some new ones down there, but we've got to put some posts in down, down there, but it's good when it dries up a bit, so. Have oh, we got some more chipping to do? Thank you, I'm just going to move this log out of the way, and then I'll... Uh... Yeah. That's Micah's job, usually, about five, five times a day, isn't it? Moving a log out of the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a lie, isn't it, John? <laughs> well, that's a lie. Is it? 
Do I look convinced? No. <laughs> There's not that much forward out of this, is there? Is that a bag? What about a bag now? Reckon? I've still got that bit there, look. I suppose. Yeah, it's not that much. It's probably baby still, isn't it? Oh, this wouldn't go for burning now. Oh, don't go, don't go and give yourself a mischief. Or you'll end up being like Michael with your ghoulies round your knees. Oh, yeah. Isn't that right, Michael? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't hate your briefcase. Yeah. The only thing is that it makes his knob look even smaller. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> well, how, many, how many sunny days have you had so far? One. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you've got time to cut this up, haven't you? We've moved yeah, most of this, yeah, so... All done and gone. Yeah. All right. Might be doing that eucalyptus tomorrow if the weather's all right. Yeah, it depends if Mark will turn it. <laughs> she making rude gestures at the window at you? Yeah. Mm, OK. Right, OK. I'll go feed calf. That's right, you could turn around and go back then again, eh? Oh, so you are going to go feed calf. Yeah. But if the milk went warm enough, so I had to go back in and warm it some more. All right, Dave. Hello. Oh god, he wants some money. Oh. Oh. Hang on a minute. And then there's everybody here. I've got Dave and Dave and Matt the Sparky, but I can't stop and chat because I've got to do this before it gets cold. So in other news, um, Inez has rung me, although they haven't actually done the sampling of the feces, proper sample yet. She's pretty sure it is um, coxie. So I've got to dose all of the calves. So I'm going to try and go and get that this afternoon if I can. So I might not get the barn cleaned out yet. Did you want to go out, missus? Come on, you can come out for a minute and then I can feed your baby. Go on. Um, yeah, all of them. So that'd be a job for tomorrow, wouldn't it? Hello, Tiddler. Right then. This is something that's not hard down your throat. Just try that. It's milk and it's good for you. Go on. It's the real stuff. I'd like you to suck that, please, if you don't mind. Good boy. <sighs> I'm going to have a right royal backache by the time I finish this. So, once I've picked up this, it's an oral treatment, I'm going to give them all, I think it's three mils per ten kilo, I think the nest said. So I've got all these cards, anything over three weeks got to come in, have a dose of what he had earlier, um, and then I think it's going to be get in here and clean as much of the crap out as I can. So I need to do it on a, a reasonable day because I'm going to have to stay outside for a few hours. Um, get as much as I can cleaned out and then I'm going to come in here with the FAM30 and I'm going to FAM30 the wasp name out of all of this. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully that'll help. Okay, well, apparently he said as much as he wanted. So, which was, it was up to just blew my thumb there, so he's had most of a litre. Uh, and he's just don't want any more. It's, it's actually gone cold as well now, so he doesn't want any more. So we were going to leave him for an hour, see how he gets on, and then give him another dose in a couple of hours. Hopefully by that time he's livened up a bit. <laughs>